Hi, I'm Urs Kafader and I would like to show you how you can find a suitable gearhead for your application. In this tutorial we focus on the speed and torque requirements. Additional information on special gearhead types can be found in the Max and Gearhead families video. Starting point for gearhead selection is the motion of the load in the application. The necessary operation cycles, speed profiles and friction result in speed and torque requirements the drive has to fulfill. In our standard diagram with motor speed as a function of torque, this can be represented as points of operation. For example, there can be a constant operation at a given torque and speed, or maintaining a position against some external force at zero speed, or speeding up a mass inertia, usually that's where the highest torque occur. The use of a gearhead is advisable if the speed is low, typically well below 1000 rpm, and the torques are relatively high. Regarding torque, we condense all the operation points in a few key values. The average, RMS, low torque, and the extreme operation point, usually at the end of the acceleration where the maximum load speed and maximum load torque occur. Let's take specific values as an example. We assume that we need 2 Nm continuous torque and 6 Nm maximum torque for a quick acceleration to 67 rpm. A good overview of the rated torque of Max and Gearheads offers the selection guide in the catalog. The red bars indicating the torque capabilities with respect to the scale at the bottom. The smaller gearheads on top of the list are too weak. Neither continuous nor maximum torque ratings are sufficient. In the lower part of the selection guide, one finds the larger and stronger gears with sufficient continuous torque. The maximum torque of the application is quite large and we have to move down the list to the GP26A for the first gearhead type to fit. Let's investigate this gearhead in more detail. The first thing to note is that for the GP26A there are different reduction ratios possible. Each has a different order number. The lowest reduction based on one gearhead stage can be found on the left. The highest reduction here with three stages are on the rightmost columns. We observe that the torque capabilities increase with increasing number of stages. Our application requires two newton meter continuous. That could be covered by two stages or more. However, the short term peak load can only be covered by a gearhead with at least three stages. It has an efficiency of 70%. Essentially, the torque requirements of our application resulted in the selection of a gearhead type and number of stages. However, which is the best reduction ratio to choose? As a general rule, one can state that the highest possible reduction gives the lowest motor torque. The lower the motor torque, the more chances we have to find a suitable motor later on. The input speed of the gearhead limits the highest possible reduction. You can find this value in the upper right corner. For our gearhead it is 8000 rpm. It means that the motor speed should not exceed 8000 rpm for this gearhead. In order to obtain a load speed of 67 rpm, the reduction ratio of the gearhead should not exceed 8000 divided by 67 or 120 to 1. The next smaller gearhead reduction available is 100 to 1. And that's the gearhead we've been looking for. Up to this point, we've been considering speed and torque limitations of gearheads. However, it's the combined effect of speed and torque, it is the transmitted power, that is related to service life. The higher the transmitted power, the lower the life expectancy. Therefore, it's reasonable to limit the transmitted power as well. The corresponding values are given for some of the Maxon gearheads. Putting all this together, we can draw an operating range diagram for a gearhead. It looks similar to the one shown here. If all the reduction values of a gearhead types are to be represented, a diagram with logarithmic axis is more appropriate. That's what you find on the Maxon GPX series. In addition to this consideration about torque and speed, there are other criteria for the selection of gearheads. The first one being the mechanical interface. How is the gearhead going to be fixed? And how about the shaft diameter and length? 
Is there a flat or even a keyway needed for connecting to the load? How large are radial and axial load on the shaft? Check the maximum modular system for suitable motor types in combination with this particular gearhead. Is it possible to find matching motors with sufficiently high torque? In our case, the RMS motor torque amounts to about 28 millinewton meter. Particular conditions require special gearhead types. Sterilizable versions, gears with specially high torque or high input speed, heavy duty versions for high pressure, vibration and temperature, or other gearheads. That's it. A short introduction to gearhead selection. In summary, first select the gearhead size and type according to the torque requirements. The matching reduction ratio is found by looking at the load speed and the maximum gearhead input speed. Good luck for your selection.